Okay, this is going to be my first uh, recording for Pirates, uh, Vikings, and Knights. I'm going to start off with uh, the Captain. It's a kind of simple class to uh, learn. Which is weird, because he has the most unorthodox uh, weapons, I think. So, you got the uh, Captain Cutlass, you got the Blunderbuss, and you got a parrot. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Oh, and technically you also have the hook when you have the parrot deployed. <laughs> okay, so this uh, has a very crazy uh, server going on here. I'm gonna send the parrot out. Okay, so I should probably explain what just happened there. Um, so the pirate captain is a damage dealer. Uh, the blunderbuss does a lot of damage if you can get it, like, right in the uh, guy's face. Um, the parrot is good for distracting um, people, and, of course, the cutlass is for close combat. So what I was doing, that archer was pursuing me, I was basically using the parrot to try to slow him down. Okay, we got... The parrots are flying around here. It's gonna really disorient. Take the archer, shoot him with my blunderbuss. Got got him really screwed up, and that's how I got there. Okay, kind of just jumped into the mush pit. Wasn't really thinking about how my uh, allies got blocked off by that gate. You know, he did a moment. I was trying to get some kills, not really achieving. Uh, my actual goal of playing the game. Now this situation is a bit interesting. Uh, the Vikings are ahead in terms of the uh, treasure, um, in, in terms of uh, the offensive teams. The Pirates and Vikings are on the offense, as expected. Uh, the Knights are still clearly winning, though. Send in the Parrot. Give me use my escape, whatever. It was not supposed to get stuck there. Come on, Olivia. Oh man, that is not okay. So that's just the Vikings. So they're probably not gonna pursue us. They might. It's good to keep your eyes open. The uh, captain is a generalist class. Uh, what this captain is doing is trying to give the uh, skirmisher the uh, treasure chest because they are better. Pirate captain is a bit old. He has a peg leg, so he's not the fastest of the pirates, obviously. But uh, being a generalist, you can do basically all of the um, actions of the other classes and still be effective. Uh, long range, obviously, no. Not for the captain. Captain wants to get in close. Okay, pair's gonna cause some chaos. Okay, so this is get, getting a bit hairy. Uh, Okay, bumped into the assassin. Got my meal. Okay. I'm not very uh, used to the assassin class. I'm trying to block her out so I get treasure. See if that does anything. Nope. Assassin's not very on me. So it's just a melee at this point. I'm gonna get pursued. I'm gonna see if they... I can fake them out like this. Well... <laughs> no. So that was my ultimate. Um, it's supposed to be like a uh, short-ranged... Um, 
grenade. It's similar to the grenade that this uh, sharpshooter just used, but it's far better at dealing damage. The um, the uh, sharpshooter's uh, grenade is more to just stun your opponent. The faster classes are able to really avoid the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss is really anti-tank. Okay, yeah, a good uh, projectile unit is going to just shoot down the parrot, but that's not what I had the parrot for. I had the parrot to deal with that uh, mana war, or mana arms. Sorry. Mana war is a ship, and uh, and something that is sort of a jellyfish, but technically isn't. It's it's weird. Look it up. Okay, this guy is getting really flustered, and now he's going underwater, which is where he's weakest. So... He's trying to fire his arrow, but, uh... This is a very dangerous game we're playing, because... Yep. Because that would happen. Same time, he's deep in our territory, so we can easily just shake him off. Uh, maybe not. It has way too much attention right now. Luckily, you can call back the parrot. Use it later. Parrot can also be used to close the gap with these archers. Uh, what I did there was to basically um, use the parrot as a meat shield. I'm sorry, Olivia, I had to. <laughs> I named the uh, parrot Olivia. You can actually name your parrot, and you can color them. It's uh, a unique feature. Captain is the only class that has customization of any kind. But it's only in the parrot. This guy is really bloody, that implies that he's weak, but he's taking a lot of hits. Okay, so he is taking a lot of damage, but I'm taking a lot of damage. Hit the meat. Okay. I want to see if I can use my ultimate. I don't have the health to really steal anything. Yeah! I got a kill. Get the uh, last archer. There's a good combo. Parrot, cutlass combo. Get the parrot to distract the enemy, then go in for the kill with the cutlass. I'm gonna see if I can do anything. We did a lot of damage to them. Maybe no one will chase me because everyone's dead. Gen Generalist is really designed for that, and the pirate captain. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, yeah, I was uh, intercepted successfully. The assassin is really good because she can backstab you, does a lot of damage. Um, it looks like the uh, knights won this, but I basically said everything I needed to. Captain is pretty straightforward. Get in close, um, confuse with a parrot, do some big initial uh, damage with the blunderbuss, and. Um, you know, engage in the sword fight with the uh, Cutlass. Now, one last uh, thing about this is that the uh, Cutlass is one of the few weapons that I recommend you learn how to parry with, because the uh, Captain doesn't have a uh, shield, but is very good at close combat because of the high damage output. So, definitely, you know, test that out, see how that goes. And, uh, but, uh, that's basically it for now. Um, yeah, the Captain is a balanced class. It's a little bit tankier than the other, uh, generals. Uh, tanky means, um, you're high in offense and defense, but low in speed. because uh, a lot of heavy tanks are like that in real life, so I guess that's where they went, uh, with. I prefer calling it heavy tank than regular tank, because tanks are actually faster than you would think, but a heavy tank obviously isn't. 
Um, so anyways, um, yeah, the, uh, captain is, uh, the damage dealer, uh, wants to fight in close, but can be very tricky at times as well. And I definitely like the parrot, weaponizing the parrot, that was a great idea for the makers of this game. Um, props to them. They do want to have some historical accuracy with the characters, but also want to have fun with it. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, why not? It's a video game. So, that's it for the captain, and I'll look into the other classes another time.